The mean for the population here, our mean, is 8 thirds. You add them all up, you divide by the number you added, you okay that our mu is equal to 8 thirds? Remember, you are not dealing with P anymore. Ignore this example. You're on something new. Whole new game. Whole new ball game. We're talking about the mean now. You find the mean, which you know how to do that. That was on your very first test. The mean for the population is labeled mu. We get 8 over 3. We added them all up. We divide by the number you added. You get 8 thirds. What we're going to do now is for every sample, we're going to find the mean. Now, what symbol do you use to represent the mean of a sample? It's not mu. Mu is for population. What do you use to represent the sample mean? Say that again. X bar. X bar. Remember X bar? We've rarely used X bar because we've been dealing with population so much. But X bar is going to come back at us. What we're going to do is calculate X bar. Again, what does X bar stand for? <coughs> Don't just say the mean. You've got to be specific. Good. What's mu stand for? Population. Are they different? Yes. Yeah, one deals with a little sample, one deals with everything. Okay, the, the population mean for ages in this classroom is going to be one thing. The sample age of these five people is going to be a different thing, right? Generally, it's going to be different. Let's find out the mean for each of these, for each of these samples. The mean is you just add them and you divide by the number you added. How many are we adding in every case? Two. So we're going to be divided by two. So we have, what's the mean of one and one? Two. two. How much is it? It's one. it's one. Sure, you add them up, you divide by two, you get one. What's the average of one and two? Three. Which is? What's the average of 1 and 5? Six, 6 over 2. How much? Are you guys with me where I'm getting these numbers? Are you sure? i got to have you here. i got to have you, you, you with it. If not, you need to let me know. I can go back and cover some this again. Are you understanding where the 1 and the 1.5 are coming from? Yes. You're just averaging these things. So the averages means... Sample means in this case, but so means 3, 1.5, 2, uh, 3.5, 3, 3.5, 5. I didn't make them up. I've averaged each of those numbers. I've added them all and divided by 2 in my head. How many feel okay with getting that far? Good, all right. Now, just like, we, just like we did over here, this is going to be a little different. We are going to find the average of these things because I want you to notice something. 8 thirds is 2 point, what, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6 forever? Are any of these averages 2 point, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6 forever? No. But look at them. Some of these are below 2 point, 6, 6. Below, below. Some are above, above, below, below, above, 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 above. Some are below, some are above. It's not systematically above. It's not systematically below. Some are above and some are below. We're going to go ahead and average these averages. So, so again, our idea for sampling distribution, do you agree this is every possible different sample of size 2? We found the mean of every different possible sample of size 2. We put it in a table. This is a sampling distribution. It's a distribution of all the sample means. You guys with me? That's what it is. We're now going to average these means. We're going to average the averages. How you average averages, in this case, by the way, I'm cheating on the symbol. We'll talk about that in, in, in a while. Would be the sum of x bar times p of x bar for this case. We're going to do that. We're going to go ahead and we're going to calculate x bar times p of x bar. Or in other words, uh, sorry, P of, of X for our, our, our sample. X bar times the probability of each sample occurring. Oh, we get one ninth. 1 1.5, oh my gosh, that's going to be 3 eighteenths. No, that's not. I'm lying. Where am I lying? Am I right? 3 eighteenths. So oh, yeah, we're both fine. Here you're going to get 3 ninths. 
three eighteenths again, two ninths. Uh, let's see, that's seven eighteenths, three ninths, seven eighteenths, and five ninths. Might have been a little bit easier to leave those as fractions, but that's okay. Do you see where the fractions are coming from, though? I'm simply going to find these two numbers together to get, to get those. If I add all those up, maybe do a little bit of conversion here, change all these into eighteenths if you'd really like to. This would be two eighteenths. This would be six eighteenths. If I add these, I get 2 plus 3, that's 5. Then I get 11, 12, 15, 14, 18, 25, 31, 38, 48. So if I add them all up, I get 48 over 18. Can you reduce 48 over 18? What goes into both numbers? 6 goes in. This gives you 8 over 3. If you add up this column of numbers, use a calculator if you're not very good at fractions, which hopefully you are good at fractions, but if you're not, add up all those numbers, reduce it, you're going to get 8 thirds or 2.6666 forever. Rich Hamp, you're okay with that so far. So what happened? Were each of these sample means the same as our population mean? No. But when I average them, yeah, it's exactly the same. What this says for us, is that sample mean targets, or in other words, estimates population. So, so far we know two things. We know that here's basically the, the underlying concept for this section is this. Proportion, sample proportion will be a good estimator for population proportion. Sample mean will be a good estimator for population mean. That's all this whole section says. There's one more. Sample variance will ultimately be a good estimator for population variance. The problem is standard deviation, which we need. Standard deviation is actually not a great estimator for population standard deviation. It systematically underestimates it. And so we're going to have to fix that but it's going to be close enough for us. Do you understand? So our, our section about sampling distributions was simply, you should know what a sampling distribution is. It's, it's this concept. And then if we average them together, the average of those statistics will give us or target or estimate the population parameter. How many of you felt okay about our, our section here? Good. We'll wrap this up next time.